Hi guys. So, Lizzie Sparkle here, and I just did my first video just a moment ago, which was my makeup look video, my get ready with me slash Dollar Tree um, makeup challenge video. So, if you want to see this look done, this, this gorgeous look right here done, go check out my video, and I'll try to link it below. But, right now, I'm going to do a color with me video using my Care Bears Jumbo Coloring and Activity Book because one of my favorite hobbies that I like to do when I'm bored and whatnot is color and I've got some of my, just some of my crayons here, not all of them, just some of them because, I mean, let's be real, this would take way too long if I got all my crayons with me right now. So, um, we're going to do a color with me video. So, please stay tuned and watch and you can color along with me. I got this one from the Dollar Tree too. So if you see it at your Dollar Tree, go get it and you can color along with me right here right now. If or when you go get the book and then come back and watch the video and then you can color with me. So here we go. Okay guys, so I figured out which page I'm going to color or work on coloring and I probably won't do it all in this video because I don't have enough like space and time on the camera to really do this or I'm not sure if I do or not but let's pretend that I don't. So um, I'm just going to do this fun find which apple is the biggest, you can color it red, and which apple is the smallest, you can color it green. So we're going to start off finding which apple is the biggest and then we're going to finish with which apple is the smallest and um, then we'll see how we go from there. So um, first up it says which apple is the biggest, color it red. So we're going to follow the directions in the right order and we're going to color it red. So um, from what I can tell, I think this is the biggest apple. So we're going to color that one red right now. So, okay. So, this is red. It is red. This is in fact a red Crayola crayon. And this is the one that we're going to be using to color the biggest apple red. So here we go. So I love to color in my free time when I have free time, but I'm really busy often so I don't get to color as much. So this is like me breaking in this coloring book because I think I colored in it like once before, which isn't hardly any at all. So it's like now I'm getting to color in it a second time, so I really feel like I'm making use out of it if you get what I mean. So, And when I can't color in, like, in a coloring book, I like to color on my face with makeup. Because makeup's great. It makes me feel good. So here I am coloring. Right now I'm just kind of outlining with some circles. Just coloring in circular motion around the outline. It really helps. And it helps to relieve some stress and pent up anger too. So here we are. So now I'm going to start coloring in bigger circles. And since this is the largest apple, it takes more coloring requirement than all the other ones. So I'm almost finished with it for now. One day I may feel adventurous and go back in and add a highlight. But for the time being, we're just going to let it be 2D and not 3D. So I finished coloring it red for the time being. So let's uh, let's find the smallest apple and color it green because that's what the instructions say. The second part says which apple is the smallest, color it green. So we'll find the smallest apple and color it green. So as first I'll find my green crayon. That's not green. It's not green. Still not green. Jungle green, but not green. Where's my green crayon? There's my green crayon. So this is a green Crayola crayon. So this one's going to be for the smallest apple, which, so if that's the biggest apple, that means this is the smallest apple. So I'm going to color this one since it's the smallest apple. It's going to be green because the instructions say to color it green. So here I am. Like before, I'm just going to circle, like go in circular motions around the outline. And it's important to stay in the lines. Of course you can color outside of the lines, but that's usually frowned upon in most cultures. 
So we're going to stay in the lines because that's pretty important around here. Otherwise they may look at you funny. More funny than usual and that's not cool. Don't give them a reason to look at you more funny than usual. Just stay inside the lines, that's all. So, and then I'm going to do the inner part with big circles and I'm pretty much finished. Like before, I'm not going to worry with highlighting anything right now. I'm just going to leave it 2D. That's cool. Now, I feel like we're missing something like the leaves need to be colored into. So, I'm going to use this jungle green because I'm feeling really adventurous and I'm feeling very jungly right now. I use it to color in the leaf on this little green one, on the smallest apple. So, see, I colored it in. It didn't take long at all. So, I might color in the big apple with it too, just because I can. So here I am. This time I'm not doing circular motions, just because it's a small space. We're just going to do like little lines back and forth around the outline. And then do the inside. Ta-da! So, I finished the challenge. And if I can get my crayon back in the box. Back in the box! Crayon! Uh -huh. Okay, I got my crayon back in the box. We're good now. So, this was the first challenge. Was to find the biggest apple and color it red. So I did. And the second challenge final challenge was to find the smallest one and color it green, and I did. So I completed my challenge in this coloring book on this page, so yay! So, thank you everybody for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and all that jazz. So thank you for watching, guys. Okay, thanks. Bye!